very simple fly to tie. So use a, a B160 size 14 and a size 14 size 14 you see this how the quite a short shank but a nice wide gape I say the, the the shanks are equivalent to a 16 but the gapes are equivalent to a size 14 now the thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread the AO in black just start with thread at the eye put down a layer of thread into one line with the point of the hook and remove the base piece now I'm using a small suede chenille and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to taper the end by using the lighter just be careful just taper it by a nice taper into it, there we are just a wee touch, too much there so I'm just going to take away that's a bit better, ideal and then we tie this in you're looking at least the body length to over the back the length or the length of the hook so we tie that on the three turns and remove the waste and I'm just going to put a bit of wax on my thread make sure this is well tied tied on and I'm going to put legs on it this is just the pre-knotted pheasant tail legs and obviously black we are looking for two either side to me that's enough uh, for this fly anyway now this fly will represent hawthorn checking the legs. Uh, the front part especially will represent the Griffiths knot and then it will represent any of the larger midge that come off the spring of the year. Now I'm going to uh, obviously split to either side, either side of the body, just slightly by the end and then we tie this on. Just going to make a kind of loose turn so that you can position the legs, you can actually still move them. So using the, the body to help separate, just like that. That's fine. Take it away. Now, the wing, you can represent the wing. As you can see in this fly here, I've used some crystal flash. Which catches the light, which you, you see a lot, the, especially in the Hawthorne. The, the wing has a very glass-like look. Or you could use some other material, and I'm going to use some CDC feathers, just a, two small feathers. You don't have to be too fussy with them. Tie them on the top. Slightly short of the full length of the body. To that point there. Tie them down. Now you can separate them if you want, you can put the tip either side. Yeah, I can do that just to show you. So all I do is just like figure eight between. Just check where they are. It's okay. I see. Then figure eight. Just hold one side, bring the thread to the back, and then figure eight through. Spreading the fibers as you do it, and then come to the front, and then you'll end up with a nice spread or fan wing type, which looks more lifelike and more fly-like anyway but wax on your thread just tidy up this, the cut ends and we tie in a grizzle hackle it's a saddle hackle I've got here looking at the inside of the feather towards your cell now the length of the fibre is again you could have them quite long or short, it's up to you Now catch in two dyed black peacock herald, just natural peacock herald dyed black. Just line up the ends, come in two or three turns to start. You've got wax on your thread, just going to tidy that area up and bring the peacock herald through. Now, to make it a wee bit stronger, what you can do. Or what I like to do is just tiny bit of super glue there and wind the hair all over. And this will make sure it 
lasts much longer. Now this is the end, this is like the Griffiths snap at the, the front. So, as I say, you're edging your bets with this pattern. Trim away your waist. And then bring your grizzle hackle up through. Now, you can add an extra turn or two, which would make sense, because you can always take it off, you can't add it on. Now, what I'm going to do is come through, catch it with one turn, just quickly run the thread up, back down, and break away the point of the hackle, keeping the thread always tight, and then you come in, whip finish, make sure it's nice and tight, and there we are. See how it looks? Uh, it's nice and clean. Nice strong fly. And uh, works extremely well. As I say, you can mess around with it. Trim it to suit your the flies you represent. All the way around with some varnish to finish it off. Just make sure the eye's clean. Just using a piece of wire here. There we are. And that's you can transform this into whatever you feel, as I say, you can remove even the body, you can remove the the whole lot, you can take all this away and just be left with the, the front part, which will give you the knot. But what I would probably do is trim it back a wee bit if it came to them, uh, leave the CDC even. But, uh, great fly, great bar.